you. It wasn't long ago the far left anti free speech lunatics at Twitter and Facebook they were censoring the truth about the origins of COVID 19 because it didn't fit their preferred pro democratic socialist new green deal narrative. Now there are renewed calls for these tech giants to lose their special legal protection. We've told you all about Section 230. Joining us now with more pretty good insight into all this, Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. Uh, Senator, by the way, uh, you have an important race in 2022. Uh, unless it hurts you, I support your winning. Uh, we need you oh. in Florida and we need you in Washington. So well, thanks thank for being you, back Sean. with us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into big tech withheld information about Hunter's laptop before the election. That, that to me would be an in-kind donation, right? Uh, yeah. They're choosing sides. Why do they get this protection? They've become the new sort of gatekeepers of the public square in American politics. If you think about it, we've never been here before. Five companies in America now have the power to basically wipe anybody out and silence anyone. You know, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Twitter, you know, they all get together and they decide, Apple, they get together and decide, we're going to wipe somebody out. You're done. There's nowhere for you to communicate. You can't even get web services and you can't communicate to the outside world your views. They, more than that, they now have put, put themselves in a position of determining what news can be re-reported. We remember those articles about Hunter Biden, and they quashed the New York Post stories. They wouldn't let it be spread. And now, for the first time, we've seen them have to go back and remove a ban on stories about the origins of the COVID-19 uh, virus uh, because they've proven to be untrue. This is the danger here, is you have a bunch of unelected, unaccountable, anonymous people deciding what we're allowed to say to one another and what we're allowed to share. That's a very dangerous moment. They have assumed basically governmental-type powers without being accountable to anyone. Let me ask you, let me move on to the coronavirus and what we're discovering and what Fauci knew and when he knew it and gain of function and NIH money going to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. I don't know about you, Senator, but this makes my blood boil that, in fact, we yeah. could have actually paid for this. Let me tell you, here's what we knew from the very beginning, right? This is what we knew from the very beginning. And you put all the circumstantial evidence together, and it, and it leads to some level of conclusion, at least, okay? You have a virus that we know the Chinese are experimenting with in that lab, and a lab we know that has, uh, that has uh, safety problems. We know for a fact that uh, messing around with viruses and lab accidents have led to outbreaks in the past. That happened with SARS uh, back in the day. That two separate out outbreaks from researchers that were infected. And by the way, coincidence out of coincidence, this outbreak started in the very city where that lab is located. There isn't a bat cave in Wuhan. It's an enormous city. It's like the size of Manhattan. There's no bat caves there. And by the way, under SARS, they found the animal that spread it within four months. Under MERS, they found the animal that spread it within nine months. Still, to this day, the Chinese have not said, this is the animal that, that, that first spread it over to a human being. You put all of that together, and that's why there are a lot of people that say, at a minimum, at a minimum, the, the lab leak theory is at least as credible as the fact that it would carry over naturally, if not more so because of the circumstantial evidence. Let me ask you the same question I asked Lindsey Graham. With Hunter's work, and now Joe's been proven to have lied to everybody, saying he never talked to his son about his foreign business dealings, with no experience making all this money in Ukraine and Kazakhstan and Russia and China, um, do we have to worry about this president being compromised potentially on national security issues because I'm, I'm pretty certain that the media and the mob that they are, uh, if it was a Republican president, uh, would be all over this uh, um, conflict of interest, shall we call it. And it would lying. be the leading story. It would be the leading story in every outlet tonight. I pray, if that were Donald Trump, I would be sitting in the Senate right now on a third impeachment trial. We would be in impeachment proceedings right now. It would be leading the newscast and every major media outlet in this country, except for maybe Fox and a couple others. But it would be the top story in the country. They'd be all over it. Absolutely. And I think yeah. it, it shows two things. It's something to be concerned about. We need to learn more about this, uh, and especially now that this new evidence has emerged. But I think it also exposes the extraordinary hypocrisy. Journalism in America is on its deathbed. There's no journalism anymore. These are activists masquerading as journalists. I actually said journalism is dead in the year 2007, which probably means I've been on the air too long. Uh, <laughs> last question, forgive me for asking it. You made comments recently about UFOs, and I'm just intrigued by the topic, and I just wanted to, you know, they're saying now, oh, there's no evidence of that. And then you see all these videos, and I'm beginning to think, what is that? 
Well, we don't know. And look, I, every time people immediately start thinking about extraterrestrials and little green men. We're not at that stage here. What we're saying is there are things that are not ours. There are things that are not ours flying over military installations. Be careful, Senator. You've got to be called racist if, you know, you, we, <laughs> just saying. Is it the green part or the little part? I have no idea. Probably on every part, about, right? No, <laughs> exactly. no they're, they're, they're talking about these things flying around. We just don't know what they are. We need to know what they are. All right, I agree with you. Senator, uh, we're going to be following your race very closely. It is critical uh, thank in 2022. You. I appreciate it. All right, thank, thank you. you for being with us.